We are doing a dosing problem. Let's read the problem. Clindamycin, 450 milligrams, orally, four times a day, is ordered for five days. Clindamycin, 75 milligrams per milliliter, is available on the floor. How many milliliters should the nurse administer per dose? We can solve this problem using one of three approaches. We'll start with the dimensional analysis approach. In the dimensional analysis approach, we'll start with the ordered amount, which is 450 milligrams, and place that over 1. We would like to cancel the label of milligrams, so in our next fraction, we'll need to put milligrams on the bottom of the fraction. The available amount is 75 milligrams per 1 milliliter. The milligrams will cancel. My answer will be in milliliters, and so I'm ready to do the math. So on my calculator, I take 450, divide it by 75, and I get an answer of 6 milliliters. We can also solve this problem using the nursing formula. We'll start with the desired or amount or doctor's order, which is 450 milligrams. We'll place this over what we have on hand, which is 75 milligrams. It is important that the labels from these two amounts match and cancel. Then we'll multiply by the quantity that the 75 milligrams was in, in this case, one milliliter. Our label will be milliliters. It's the only uncanceled label. We do the math and we get six milliliters. The final approach that we can use to this problem is to use a proportion, which uses equal fractions. The first fraction is made by placing the ordered amount, 450 milligrams, over x milliliters, because we want to change this amount into milliliters. Since we're making equal fractions, we need milligrams on the top and milliliters on the bottoms so that the labels match. Available to us is 75 milligrams per 1 milliliter. To solve this, we cross multiply. On the first diagonal, I get 75x. On the second diagonal, 450 times 1 is equal to 450. I continue solving by dividing by 75 on both sides. To get my answer, x equals 6 milliliters.